Okay, guys, we're back inside of Helldivers 2, and there is a lot happening around the game right now. Sham Georgiani seems to be talking about a story mode and cooperative play. That conversation is extremely interesting, as well as the player base that seems to be plateauing back to its normal levels after the most recent patch. PlayStation have posted up a new interactive piece that you guys need to see because it looks so damn cool, as well as the CCO getting involved in a conversation on Twitter. We're also going to talk about armor penetration, which is a massive topic right now. This one is a big one. If you guys haven't already, smash that beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on. It'd be greatly appreciated. On top of that, check out our sponsor, GamerSub, a leader in gaming, energy, and nutrition that offers gamers and esports athletes a healthy energy choice. Helping them perform to their highest potential, GG is completely keto-friendly, less than one calorie, and sugar-free, and comes in an array of tasty flavors. Make sure you head down to the description, click the link, and use code CloudPlays at checkout. Get yourself some healthier energy today. Okay, so in typical Helldivers 2 fashion, every single time, I just went to go upload this video and they posted up this tweet right here, stating, Support incoming. We have issued a hot fix for players that include general quality of life improvements, crash fixes, and more. So we're going to give you guys a quick rundown of what it is that they've actually done inside of this as they have changed some bits and bobs that will hopefully make the game a little bit more sustainable for you guys in the future. We've got right here in the fixes, there is a lot. There is actually a lot. As far as crashes goes, they fixed various crashes that would sometimes occur when changing settings. They've also fixed the crash that might occur after exiting a mission. Now, one that you guys had a lot of issues with is this one right here, including the social menu that states that they fixed a crash that occurs when opening the social menu with more than 100 friends. As a result, we have also limited the friends list visibly to 100. You will remain friends with anyone over 100, but you may not be able to see them if they are offline. They've also fixed the crash when opening the social menus and having many blocked players and or friend requests and everything else in between. They've seem to have fixed a lot with regards to the social menus including a few of uh, crash related to the minefields as well there's a lot of things that going on with these crash fixes but you guys can see it all here on screen as well as miscellaneous fixes which is a lot they dodge and prone fix they've had some things with the ballistic shield being wielded that one's been refixed as well the recoilless reload speed has also been fixed they've also fixed the spear not targeting several enemies including spawners and compound objects etc yeah, they fixed a bug where the operation progress would be lost when kicked due to inactivity and they've removed friend and block player buttons are now hold to confirm instead of a single click so you won't accidentally block your friends or just remove them in general they fixed a bug where dying would try to enter ads which is hilarious and they've also fixed a soft lock if you receive an, an interact emote while holding a grenade they fixed a load of things such as the vehicle skins are now applied to all vehicles variations when equipping directly from war bonds and stuff like that a load of fx changes and a load of description changes as well the links down in the description if you guys want to go and give it a check out but i just wanted to let you know that you now have that update available on your system let's get into the original video but starting off we have got a conversation that is an extremely interesting one to read and one that is slightly disappointing but sham georgiani has dove on in this one slid under the radar on side of twitter and it seems to be a conversation that you guys need to hear about somebody just put will you hire people who can make this game actually good it's been very hard to enjoy one of my favorites for a while now at which point sham georgiani asked what is it missing to make it good now obviously i do not agree with this i think that the game is actually really really good and is in a great state as it stands right now there is a bit of a thing with regards to the spawners and or patrols that you guys are all having conversations about in the comment sections right now but as an overall the game seems to be doing really well now mr freeze actually responded with can you create a story mode for co-op with epic moments and tragic scenes now as much as that does sound absolutely incredible sham georgiani responded with not happening sorry bro that's like building an entirely 
new game. And now a lot of you guys will be disappointed by this, but it does kind of make sense to a degree. Although do not panic, there are a lot more things that apparently are doable. Mr. Free states right here, thank you for your replying and I understand. I'm not asking for a new game, I just want more lore and more synatistic missions, more ideas. So create a team or guild, new spaceship for the team, engaging events, tournaments of the best helldivers or best guilds, cinema slash photo mode. And I think that this would be absolutely incredible. And Shams have responded with, that sounds more doable. So we should be seeing some future content that seems to be taking a little bit more of a diverse turn when it comes to helldivers 2. This is not likely to be here this year and I'll be really, really surprised to see any of these things make an appearance. Things such as cinema and photo mode, especially with like bigger games such as Hogwarts Legacy is only just released now and Jesus, that game has been out for a little while. But the likelihood is, is that we should see the game take a bit more of a diversion point into different avenues of gaming at some stage during the Helldivers 2 lifeline. As far as how far it's actually going to get though, it will be extremely interesting. The player base right now is sitting at around a 24 hour peak of 63,000 players, which is actually really, really good for the hindsight. We managed to spike at just over 100,000 on Steam alone when it came to the latest update and obviously it's now plateauing back to its standard levels. But for a game that was doing hundreds upon hundreds of thousands of players a day, yes, it's definitely taken a bit of a dip. This was bound to happen with the release of the hype around the game. Although, as far as it stands, the game is actually in great stead and this stuff is actually really really normal. It's nice to see the game still doing well and holding its own, which means that every time a new DLC releases or a big patch update releases, the likelihood is, is we'll see an influx in player base to return back to the standard level of Helldivers in play. This will lead to some difficulties when it comes towards things like major orders and stuff like that, because as numbers increase, they obviously have to make them harder, but we'll have to see exactly how that one pans out. As far as PlayStation though, PlayStation have actually got involved with the game and and they've actually brought in something very, very cool. They posted a tweet just yesterday stating, Helldivers, time to administer some planet-side democracy. Check the real-time liberation status of your glorious galaxy. And when you click on the link, it takes you through to this site right here, which has a fully emotioned piece which has all of the liberation statuses and information is existence on the battlefield keep spirits high with news of planets almost won but stay alert for enemies invasions where only the bravest dare tread now this looks extremely cool and it's one of those things that as a third party piece is not one of the best that we've got right now there are some third party platforms that are doing a lot better but at the moment as you can see on the screen the Hellmire planet is obviously not doing too greatly, as well as the Fory Prime, which is currently under a partake that we're obviously going for. There seems to be a lot inside of this, and I think that they can actually bring a lot to the table when it comes to this format. There is definitely a way to being able to bring that to the forefront when it comes to the actual game. I think an interactive page where we can see what players are actually doing would be absolutely amazing. And I think that that's something that we should be seeing at some stage. I think that that's definitely more of an interactive forefront. And before we get into the final piece, which is the CEO getting a little bit amped up on Twitter, as well as the armor talk that we all well need to agree with, we are doing a giveaway here on the channel. If you guys want to get involved with it, it's extremely extremely simple all you have to do is head down into the comment section and put in some sort of book emoji and that will enter you in we're doing the book emoji for the storyline missions i would absolutely love to see some of those in here it's not likely and it's definitely not going to happen but a storyline mission book in the comment section would be incredible and that'll enter you in for this week's giveaway and we're giving away a copy of helldivers 2 and if you've already got the game don't panic we are going to give you guys the money equivalent in super credits make sure you stay tuned for the announcement of who's won via the community page and the giveaway announcement sector of the discord down below but with that being said let's dive into the final few topics that we've got for this morning as we move into another live update going up as a video tonight we've got this right here which is the cco at arrowhead entertainment Entertainment stating, I've seen a lot of people give me lots of credit for this patch as if I am a sole person responsible. I want to make it clear that the team are the ones that made it happen without their effort, design, sensibilities, diligence and passion. None of this would be more 
possible. Now, this is something that I think that has gone on the forefront because he seems to be the person who is at the forefront of everything. He is extremely vocal online. He talks about a lot of things and this seems to be mainly the, like the face of it and Shams Georgiani is now starting to obviously not replace but partake in that sector as well. I think it would be really good for a lot of the people inside of the team to start posting more and maybe the cco ceo tag them in a few posts get them involved a little bit more on social media and maybe then they'll get the recognition they deserve but with recognition comes the backhand when everything does go wrong the cco shohan actually does take a lot of grief and maybe that's the area that they're looking to avoid more than anything else especially being the actual game developers people will flock and it's been shown in gaming history that they will flock towards gaming developers to give them grief for a patch that they don't like or a change that they weren't happy with and i think that a lot of developers in toll will want to avoid this one greatly but it'll be interesting to see how this one plays out and whether we'll see some more of the development team and the guys at arrowhead on social media anytime soon moving into the final topic though this one was actually incredible i saw a post up on twitter that had this piece of art on it right here now this was via the hell divers to hq twitter page and this is an amazing amazing piece as you can see right here we've got an incredible graph that shows the light armor medium armor heavy armor versus what it will do against small arms heavy fire and explosive fire and this one's really really interesting because i think that this is actually the perfect leveling as far as how armor should go with the light armor you should always be staggered because realistically there's not much armor on when the explosives happen ragdolling across would be absolutely perfect medium armor though would take a bit of a flinch with the small arms but with heavier fire get a bit of a stagger and explosive fire would ragdoll them over the top heavy armor would be a ricochet which we are not seeing much of as far as what actually hits us we seem to take a lot of damage all of the bloody time as well as a flinch on the heavy fire and stagger for the explosive fire now this is a really key feature and something that would be really really good and something that would really help us as far as how the armor actually deteriorates and how it actually operates the only thing that you'd have a problem with right here though is if you were against the terminates the terminates do not fire anything everything is of a manual attack therefore being able to ricochet anything is not really as likely you've got more of a chance for flinching staggering and stuff like that and then obviously there is not many explosions that come from the actual terminus themselves so this obviously only works really with the automaton sector whether they can interpret that into the terminid is yet to be seen but i think that there needs to be a rework when it comes to the armor factories this one seems to be a big one i think that for me i run light armor all the time today i'm going to be testing out a lot of the heavier armor to see how it actually operates and see how you can use the functionality of that but it's not very often that you see people running around with some tanky ass armor that makes them look like the michelin man let's be completely real anyhow that's unfortunately we've got time for today get down to the comment section let's get conversations going on about all of this stuff happening at the moment and whether you guys would want to see a cooperative story mode and if that's something that you would actually enjoy to do I mean, it's not coming, but I think that somebody could make that game. Thank you very much again for watching, guys. Appreciate your faces. If you haven't already, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the clouds.